Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you how to draw this uh, toucan. He um, he reminds me of Toucan Sam, the character from the Fruit Loops commercials. All right, so I've gone ahead. I've made a sketch for you to see. This is what we're going to be drawing. I colored it to give you an idea. And all you're going to need is a piece of paper, a pencil, and eraser. And we can get started. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to make the shape of the body of my toucan. He's my main focus in my drawing, so I'm going to draw him first. I want him to stand out. So, and I want him right in the center. I want him to just be right in the center. So for his body shape, we are going to make a curve line. And it's going to start towards the top, and it's going to curve down. Okay, so we're going to start with this curved line. Now, on the top part of the curve, where I started, I'm going to make a line straight down. Just a little bit. About halfway as long as the first line. Then I'm going to curve this to the right. This is going to be the top of the head. That's going to be the belly. Okay. Now I'm going to continue drawing. Oops, let me put that back. I'm going to continue drawing the bird as if you're seeing the whole thing, but later we're going to have to erase some things. So I'm going to take this line and I'm going to curve it out. And I'm going to take this line and I'm going to curve it out. Okay. Now the bottom, the two bottoms, I want to connect those with a half curve. So I might even turn my page to uh, give me some more space to draw. Um, but that's the shape I want. I want that curved line first, then a straight line down, round belly. This is his belly. And then this is going down into the tail and it's these nice curvy lines, which look like C's that are, you know, facing opposite of each other. All right, so I've got the main body of the bird. Now I'm gonna start adding its beak because its beak is rather long. So this is the top of the bird. I'm gonna turn my paper to the side. From that first part, I'm gonna make a line straight across coming down and I'm going to curve it down. So again, we're, we're going to use a lot of curves in this drawing. So this one comes straight for a little bit, then it curves down. Now it's going to have a point here. So I'm going to bring it back up. I'm going to curve it up and back to the head. So we went straight across, curved it down, and then I went up to make that a point. Now, right below this one, I'm going to leave some space and then I'm going to draw another curve line that connects it and that's going to make it for his bottom beak. So there's his top beak and there's his bottom beak. All right. Next, I want to start adding the details of his face. So right here on the side of the beak, he's got a shape that kind of follows his body. So I'm going to make a line that kind of follows the edge, but then I'm going to curve it back up. This is going to be for a part of his eye detail. And inside of that center shape, I'm going to put a big circle. And inside of that, I'm going to put another big circle. So I've got two circles inside of each other. I'm going to add one more teeny tiny circle right on the corner just for a highlight and then I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to shade in the area around that teeny tiny little circle that we made just to fill in the black part of his eye. Okay. All right. So when I turn him right, you'll start to see, okay, he's starting to come along. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add his little, um, well, we got his eye, we got that, that's fine. All right, so now we're gonna add his little feet. So right here, 
remember we made those two curved lines? Right in the center of those, I want you to make one, two upside down U's, okay? One, two upside down U's, and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. And on the bottom of those U's, I want you to make a zigzag, zigzag. Zigzag, zigzag. Those are gonna be for his little um, feeties, okay? Now, I know it looks kind of funny now, but we're gonna have a, him sitting on a branch. So we're gonna erase part of the tail line so that it looks like he's on a branch. So let's start making our branch. We're gonna make it look like he's sitting on the branch. So I want you to find that invisible line where your feet are, and I want you to extend it to one side of the bird and then extend it to the other side of the bird. So I've got two lines coming on the side of my bird. I'm going to take this line and I'm just going to continue it in a curve to the side of my paper. So I've got one curve going up. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to turn my paper. I'm going to make this line curve all the way off the page. Okay, so now I've got this curve kind of going behind my uh, toucan. I want to make this much thicker. I want it to look like a tree branch, not just a little twig. So I'm going to leave some space and I'm going to copy the curve. I'm going to follow the same line pattern and I'm going to go all the way to the other side. So I'm making a nice long branch. Okay. Now this bird technically would have its feet in front of the branch and it's tail behind the branch. So what I need you to do is I need you to get your eraser and I need you to erase the bird's tail that's inside of the branch. So if you look out, you'll see that, oh, that, that line is in the branch. I don't want that line in the branch. So I'm just erasing, erasing the small part that's in the branch. Okay, and there you'll see what I mean. Okay, so now remember his tail was on top, but now we've erased those lines and now it's starting to look like it's supposed to. So we are actually going to add in that branch line. So just like we have the line on the sides, we're gonna continue it to the feet, put it in between the feet and then to the other side. And this is gonna make it look like our toucan is perched on top of our branch. So just like we close that top line, I also want you to close that bottom line. So I've got the branch, but I need to close it. I need to make it look like one solid branch. All right, so there he is. We've got him, he's sitting on a branch. Let's go ahead and add another branch just to give it a little bit more detail. So right next to his body, I'm gonna make a curve line up. I'm gonna leave a little space. I'm gonna make another curve line up. And then I can even add more little branches off to the side. So using the same kind of lines, just curves, I can go on the side of the big branch and add some little branches. All right, so I've got two branches. I'm happy with those. Let's add some leaves. So up here on the side of the branch, I'm gonna make a curve to a point and then a curve back to the point. And this is gonna make a leaf shape. I can put a line down the middle and some V's on the line to make it look like a leaf. So you can continue doing that and you can add the leaves really anywhere you'd like. You can also make them different sizes. Sometimes I make them really long or sometimes I make them short, um, but really it's totally up to you. However you like to draw, do it your way, okay? So I'm gonna add some more leaves over here and maybe one more over on the bottom. I'm putting V's down the middle 
just to add a little bit more detail. Maybe even put one over here. Just have fun with it. Wherever you think, hey, I want a, another little green leaf over here. Put it where you like it. But that's pretty much it, guys. You've drawn a toucan. He's perched, which means he's sitting on a branch. We've got leaves. Um, I hope you had fun. Um, this was a little bit harder because we were using a lot of curved lines, but just try your best. Have fun with it. Um, I'm going to erase the doodle I did now so you can see my reference. That was the first one I had drawn. Um, and you can see how I colored it in. All right, guys. I hope you had fun. I hope you keep doodling. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye.